Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching here Miss Easy and welcome to a new video for A Level Further Maths and today we have 1.3 complex conjugation for the questions video and we'll move on to the first question but before we get into it don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and we'll get started with question 1 so these questions are from the core peer 1 textbook at itself from exercise 1D so you can check it out but anyways, so 1B Write down the complex conjugate z asterisk or like the complex the conjugate of z for number for b z equals six minus five i. So one b right here. Let me just zoom in. One b. So we know z equals six minus five i, and therefore the conjugate of z will be just the same 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 term, but then the symbol before the imaginary unit will have uh, the opposite symbol. So here we have minus 5i, right? That means the conjugate will be plus 5i. So therefore the conjugate for z will be 6 plus 5i, like so. And for b, it's for d, it's z equals root 5 plus i root 10. So it looks complicated at first, but don't let those sets throw you off because it's the same for the, for the conjugate. So you just uh, flip the sign before the imaginary unit. So therefore it will be root 5 minus i root 10 because the original is plus so we flip it to minus like so and then question 2 or 6 on this given that 5 plus 2i over z equals 2 minus i find z in the form of a plus bi so it's basically just rearranging this form uh, this uh this equation to solve for z so uh, we can just swap these two positions like this and this we can swap it around because what we do is that we basically just divide both sides by 2 minus i and multiply both sides by z. So therefore it will be z, oops, z will be equal to 5 plus 2i over 2 minus i, like so. So now we just basically like, just like rationalize the denominator, we times the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So we do 5 plus 2i times 2 plus i. Because the conjugate of the denominator, which is 2 minus i, is 2 plus i. So 2 plus i. So the top will be, the first term will be 5 times 2. Like so, it will be 10. And then the second term for the top will be ten, uh, 5 times i, which is 5i. And the third term will be 2i times 2, which is 4i. So 5i plus 4i is 9i. And then the last term, the fourth term will be 2i times i. So 2 times the coefficient 1 is 2, but then i times i is minus 1. That means 2i times i is minus 2. And the bottom is just basically um, expanding. It would be 2 times 2, it's 4. And then the, the second term and the third term cancel out because they are both 2i and minus 2i. And then the last term would be uh, minus i times i. And, and i times i is minus 1, and minus 1 times minus becomes plus, so it's just plus 1. So. So we can now just simplify it by doing, to collect the terms, 10 minus 2 is 8, plus 9i over 5. And now we basically just, just put it in the form of a plus bi, which is 8 over 5, plus 9 over 5i, and that's the answer. And then question 3, the complex, the complex number z satisfies the equation 4 plus 2i and z minus 2i equals 6 minus 4i. Find z giving your answers in a plus bi where a and b are rational numbers. So what we do is first is that we would just first, we can, we can either expand, uh, sorry, we can either divide both sides by 4 plus 2i, or we can expand the bracket. So the way that I would go is that I would just divide both sides by 4 plus 2i first. So it would be z minus 2i equals 6 minus 4i over 4 plus 2i. So, and therefore we just like rationalize the denominator. So 6 minus 4i, 4 minus 2i, over 4 plus 2i, times by 4 minus 2i, oops, minus 2i. And like just now we just basically just simplify the whole thing. So 6 times, the first term is 6 and 4, which is 24. And the second term is 6 times minus 2, plus minus 4 times 4. So 6 times minus 2 gets you 12, uh, minus 12, and minus 4 times 4 gets you minus 16. 
So therefore, you just add them up together to get minus 28i. So minus 28i. And the last sum will be minus 4i times minus 2i. So minus 4 times minus 2 is 8, but then 8 times minus 1 is minus 8. So it'll be minus 8. And then the bottom is just 4 times 4 plus 2 times 2. Because there's a quick way to expand um, brackets with a difference of 2 squares when it's complex conjugate. So 4 squared is 16, and 2 squared is 4, like so. So now we just therefore just simplify the whole thing to get z minus 2i equals 24 minus 8 gets you 16. So 16 minus, 2, uh, uh, minus 28i over 20. So now we'll just add both sides by 2i to solve for z. So right here, oops, right here. So z will be equal to 16 minus 28i over 20 plus by 2i from here. So plus, oops, plus 2i. So we, are, we now have to just combine the both uh, the terms together. So it'll be 16, 16 minus 28i over 20 plus 40i over 20. Because if you simplify 40 over 20, you'll get 2, which is what this term basically is. So now we'll basically just, just simplify it. So it will be equal to 16, and this, the item will be 40i minus 28i, which is 12i, plus 12i, over 20. So we can now basically just, just uh, separate into real and imaginary, and then we can just simplify the term. So therefore z equals, the real part is 16 over 20, which is equal to 4 over 5. 4 over 5. And then the imaginary part will be 12i over 20 which is equal to 3 over 5. So 3 over, oops, let me just write it. 3 over 5, i, like so, and that's the answer. And then the next question, we have z, um, z equals root 5 plus 4i, and z asterisk is a complex conjugate of z. Show that z over z asterisk, or the conjugate, is equal to a plus bi root 5, where a and b are rational numbers to be found. So we just have to express z over z uh, conj uh, conjugate of z. So we know that z equals root 5 plus 4i. Therefore, z asterisk or the conjugate will be root 5 minus 4i. Therefore, z over z the, con oops, the conjugate of z will be equal to root 5 plus 4i over root 5 minus 4i, like so. So we now just times the bottom and the top by root 5 plus 4i. So we get rid of the i at the bottom. So we'll be equal to root 5. Oops. We'll be equal to root 5 plus 4i. Root 5 plus 4i. All over root 5 minus 4. Root 5 minus 4i. And root 5 plus 4i, like so. So we're going to just simplify the, simplify the whole thing. So the top root 5 times root 5 is equal to 5. So it'd be 5. And root 5, uh, root 5 times 4i is 4 root 5. And another 4 root 5 to get 8 root 5. So 8i root 5. And then the last one will be 4i times 4i. 4 times 4 is 16 and i times i is minus 1. So it'd be minus 16. And at the bottom, it'll be root 5 times root 5, which is 5. And then the, th the second term and the third term, which is this and this term, they're both 4, uh, four i root 5 and minus 4 i root 5, which cancel out. So the fourth term will be minus 4 i times 4 i. So minus 4 times 4 is minus 16, but then i times i is minus 1, therefore it will be minus 16 times minus i. So minus, what? minus 16 times minus 1, which is 16, plus 16. So therefore we now just collect some terms. So the first, the real part will be 5 minus 16, which is minus 11. Minus 11 plus, oops, minus 11 plus 8i root 5 over 15, uh, 5 plus 16 is 21. So, therefore we can just express z over z at the conjugate as follow. We can just split into two, two, uh, the two different terms, the real and imaginary part. So the real part will be a, which is minus 11 over 21, 
Oops, over. I'm just write it out again. So the first, the real part, the real part would be minus eleven over twenty one, and then the imaginary part would be plus eight root eight root eight i root five over twenty one, like so, and that's the answer. And lastly, we have question fourteen here. The complex number z is defined as z equals p plus five i over p minus two i. And given that the real part of z is 1 over 2, find the value of p. So we first just um, just rationalize or like simplify this function, this fraction here. So 14a right here, right? So z equals p plus 5i, p plus 5i over p minus 2i. We multiply the top and bottom by p plus 2i, so p plus 5i p plus 2i over p minus 2i p plus 2i so the first term will be the, the top first term will be p times p p squared second term is p plus uh, p times 2i third term is p times 5i which is 7pi and the fourth term will be 5i times 2i which is minus 10 so minus 10 so the bottom will just be p times p plus 2 times 2. So p squared plus 4, like so. So now we can group real and imaginary parts, which uh, we can write it here. So we know that the z is equal to z is equal to p squared minus 10 over p squared plus 4 plus 7p over p squared plus 4 I, like so, and we know that the we know that the real part of z is one over two. That means this right here is equal to one over two. So therefore, we can equate some terms. So this number one. So we know that p squared minus ten over p squared plus four equals one over two. That's all right. So therefore, we can now just solve for p. So just uh, do cross multiplication to get two p squared minus twenty equal p squared plus 4 and then we can just uh, simplify some terms so get p squared equals 24 and we can get two terms of p equals root 24 which is equal to 2 root 6 but then just read the question it says the it says p is greater than 0 that means p can't be equal to minus 20 uh, minus 2 root 6 therefore the only option for uh, for the for the value of p is p equals 2 root 6 like so and I'll just write it up here let me just find a, a, a place to rub it out I'll just rub it out here so p equals 2 root 6 2 root 6 like so so for part b write z in the form of a plus bi where a and b are real numbers so we know that p, equal, p equals 2 root 6 that means we can just substitute p into this right here so therefore, let me just do it here. Z equals, we already know the real part is 1 over 2, so it would be 1 over 2. Plus, let me just put it into my calculator. The imaginary part would be seven, the we, a fraction. The top is 7 times 2 root 6. And the bottom is 2 root 6 squared plus 4 i. And therefore, it would be root 6 over 2. So it would be root 6 over 2 i. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this question's video for 1.3 for complex conjugation. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification button to listen to any future videos. And if, if you have any questions or any comments or any constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can check it out in your browser at www.yemisteryeasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be a 1.4 solving quadratic equations for the rules and examples of it which will be super interesting and a new concept. And that's it for this video and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.